Good evening. Nice to be with you again. Incredibly hot here in the south. I mean, I mean, it's it's what is it now? Quarter past six. It's still about seventy-five in my living room with the windows open. I mean. One thinks I should be drinking something cold rather than tea, but it doesn't matter. A long day in the saddle, so I'll be reasonably quick. I am pretty worn out. I've had a long, long session today. A long session once I got through with my doctors. I had a long session. The British Airborne are <coughs> starting to look rather good. I am rather pleased, even though they're only airfix. And I have noticed something with them, which I shall allude to in a minute. But they're starting to look something like it. Our sniper guy. A pair of snipers. I've got a pair of snipers in this squad. So what I'll do is I'll block in all the base colours then I'll go over the whole lot with some Agrax or a shade and then give it some highlights and I'll put some more highlights on the foliage on the helmets as well, some different greens give it a foliage look. The, the sponge mix has worked out very well on these it looks very good once we get different greens in there they look pretty good. I'm pretty happy with the faces, I gotta say. I found something. The trousers. The colour on the trousers is flat earth. I actually didn't have flat earth in Vallejo, but I had it here in um, Tamaya. So save the day. So I'll order it in Vallejo, Flat Earth. That's one thing I didn't. I was surprised colour I didn't actually there was another colour I didn't have and that was red for the beret. I didn't have that either, that was straight red. Interesting colour, Vallejo straight red. You put it on to the beret, it looks far too bright, garish and pink and when it dries down it's absolutely perfect, it's amazing how it dries here's our command figure and of course no platoon would be complete without a wireless operator. All the better for having the cables fitted. So yes, I'm very pleased, They're coming on very nice. The only thing I did notice with these, which is what I was going to allude to, the only thing I did notice. None of these figures have any backpacks or anything like um, shovels or entrenching tools or anything like that. Every time you make a video, isn't it? 
I don't have any backpacks or any entrenching tools or anything like that, which is a shame. So the next, um, the next squad I do, I'll put backpacks on them and entrenching tools and so forth, and we'll sort that out. We'll get that. Can you hear that? Same two birds every night because them downstairs keep feeding them. They're outside belly belly aching every night. Uh, drives you mad, drives you mad. But yeah, looking very starting to look very nice. Yeah, so the next squad I do will have backpacks and um, entrenching tools and all that business added. An enhanced version of these. But for FX figures, they're going to look very nice. They're going to look very nice. So anyway, we'll get on with the giveaway before I go and shoot those two seagulls. Item number one was the command figures, the medieval, medieval command figures. Now I would wager you, ten guineas, I would wager you ten guineas, it didn't say in the listing, but I would wager you ten guineas, these are 3D printed. They're in resin, but I would say they're 3D printed. The only thing, the other thing that was a little bit annoying, disappointing, whatever you want to say, I knew it when I ordered them, but I still thought it was a bit stingy. They got no bases. They got no bases. So what I've done is I've included four of them thick sort of counter, plastic counters. That's what I use for my 20mm figures and they'll work fine so four of them. So four of them and the command figures. Very nice. I forget which company makes these now but Nice, but I would say they're 3D printed, but it's amazing what you can do 3D printing now. It's amazing. So, only four of you in the draw. I must be losing my appeal or something. <laughs> Here we go. Which way does that go? Which way does that work? It works the other way, doesn't it? Oh, I can't do it. I can't do it the other way. Because the handle's on the other side, so I have to do it this way. There you go. Number two, which is a miniature painter. Well done, miniature painter. You have won You have won the command figures. Well done Justin. So they are yours. I'm thinking I possibly might go into town tomorrow so we might be able to whack them in the mail for you tomorrow. And the other thing was because we made sort of three hundred odd videos, I did something for that. And that's a Raphael Kalinsky Sable brush. That's a size zero, so a detail brush. Kalinsky Sable. If you've never used a Kalinsky Sable brush, you don't know what you're missing. You don't know what you're missing. So, four of you in for the brush. Here we go, eyes down for four house.
Honestly, this is this is the way. <laughs> this is honestly the way it works. Number two. It's the luck of the draw, folks. Honestly, it's the luck of the draw. Number two. <laughs> yeah, and just to prove, see number three, um, number four. See, so it's, it's just the luck of the draw. So well done, Justin. You've got yourself a sable brush. And a set of command figures, so you can use the brush to paint the command figures. There you go. Hopefully, I'm thinking tomorrow I'll get into town tomorrow and I'll post them for you tomorrow. Um, I need to get out a bit. I need to get out a bit. Here's something quickly before I go. For the colours for these British Airborne. I've been sort of looking online. I watched a video of a guy and he was painting Denison smocks and he was using a lot of triangles. But if you actually look at a Denison smock close up, it's a lot more involved than triangles. Although what he did, don't get me wrong, was very good. It's very nice what he did and the finish was good on 28mm British Airborne. But Denison smocks are a bit more involved than that. But anyway, I was looking for the colours. master box stuff very much. So there's your colour. I'm not following every colour. The colours for the smock on here I'm not sort of following. I'm using um, Middle Stone, US Dark Green and Mahogany. But down um, for the trousers and the webbing and all that I'm sort of following that, but what I was going to allude to was where's that damn bridge? Operation Market Garden 1944. So these group of figures, somewhere near Arnhem, at least we can say they're in Holland, somewhere like that, and there in the background is a regulation British kiosk, which I thought was rather <laughs> good. And also this guy here, he's a um, gamekeeper or warden or something like that, I would think. He's got a rabbit there, look. Hanging down. It says here, look. No rabbits were harmed during the creation of this kit. Wonderful. Wonderful. But look forward to doing that. I might even have a go at this after these. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see. Only four figures in the box mm. but gauging these figures having looked at them although they're in bits a little bit difficult to gauge but gauging them compared to one of them they're more or less one and the same more or less one and the same even though one's one three five and one's one three two that's what I always say about the scales Everybody's idea of what a scale is is different. 132, 135, which is why I'm going to mix the two together. But anyway, I'm going to go and shoot them seagulls in a minute. Thanks everybody for subscribing. If you're new and just subscribed recently, I know one person in Belgium subscribed recently. I've got to think of his name now. Peter, I think it's, I think you would pronounce it thigh board I'm not sure correct me if I'm wrong but anyway thank you for subscribing Peter nice to have you here um, yeah to everybody that subscribes and watches thanks very much if you haven't subscribed and you watch jab the video jab, jab the video jab the button down below and push the bell on all that business and, um, lots more interesting things coming up now it's not just straight Napoleonics now it's um, British Airborne and the buildings and 
things I'm not even going to mention that are a surprise. So anyway, I hope you're all well and plague free. My doctor now has the plague. I rang my doctors this morning. The secretary said, now your doctor's not in, he's working from home. He now has the plague. So I wish him well. Dr. Vib, I wish you well. So yeah, I'm going to go and watch a vid or shoot them seagulls or something. So well done, Justin. Command figures and a brush. Sod's law, that's just how it works out. They're yours. Hopefully get them in the post here tomorrow. See you on the next one.